Hello people this is self Turts and we are learning how to create a to-do rest app in express and in this video we'll do the initial setup of our project which means we'll create a directory where we can do our coding and then we will install some new node modules like express and we'll create a http server so that our to-do rest app can handle some request so the terminal that i'm using uh, is baboon because the terminal that windows provide is not so much good and because i have a linux experience so to uh, mimic that or to use a linux like environment in windows i have installed baboon so there will be a separate course on baboon which you can refer later on uh, to understand the concepts of baboon so uh, this is the baboon terminal as you can see and i'll go to my d drive and inside d drive i'll go to workspace and then inside workspace i'll go to the live folder so this is the live folder present here and you can see I'm firing Linux command like list files. So it is working in Windows also. So this is the power of Baboon. So I'll create a new directory that is express to do app and I'll go inside this express to do app folder. So I'm present inside my express to do app folder and now we'll create our uh, node module or we'll initialize our node module inside it. So I'll open Visual Studio Code, which is the editor that I'm using. So what I'll do, I'll go to my file and then I'll do open folder and you can see I'm inside workspace live and then express to do app. So I'll open this and I'll go to my Zen mode. So Zen mode is the full screen mode, which I use. And you can see here that express to do app folder is present here. Now uh, to install new modules or to create a node project i have to fire some command and for which i'll need a terminal so i can open a terminal in visual studio code itself so i have configured my keys alt plus space to open a terminal so you can see here the terminal has been opened on the bottom of my visual studio code so i am present inside my workspace live and express to do app so what i'll do i will initialize the npm project so i'll type npm in it so this will ask me some questions that what is the name of your project? What is the version of your project? What is the description of your project? So I'll put everything as default and I'll hit enter multiple times and it will ask me that this is the uh, content that I'm going to create. So is this okay? I'll say yes. And on hitting enter, you can see a package.json file has been created. So uh, this package.json file contains the details about my project, like what are the dependencies, what are the development dependencies, what is the name of your project, what is the version. So uh, everything about my project, all the data, all the descriptions are provided here. So we have successfully initialized a node project and now we'll try to install the express module. So this express module is a web framework that is used in a node.js widely to create HTTP servers. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll first fire the clear command so that it is visible properly. So now what I'll do, I'll say npm install and then express and minus minus save. So I'll tell you the details about minus minus save. So I'll say npm, which is the node package manager, please install the express module. So I'll hit enter and it will try to fetch the data from the npm registry where all the node modules are hosted. So depending on your internet connection, the, it may take some time. So we'll see that it installs correctly or not. So the express module has been successfully installed and now you can see inside the package or JSON file, a new key has been added and the name of the key is dependencies. So inside the dependencies keys, you can find the express name of the module and the version that has been installed. So we have seen here that we have provided a minus minus save flag. So what it does, it writes the name of the project with the version of the project inside my package or json file so that i can share my package or json file to other people and they can use it the they can install the dependencies that are being used inside my project so we have successfully installed the express uh, module inside our to do app so on my youtube channel you can see that there is a course which is here present that is understanding the express web framework in node.js so this gives you a detailed explanation of the express framework so in this to do app i i will not provide the detailed explanation of the express framework so you can refer to this uh, 
series on understanding express web framework in node.js and you can clear your concepts so it will be easy to understand for you uh, for creating the to-do app in express so now we have successfully installed it so i'll exit my terminal from here and what we'll do now we'll create a new file that is app.js inside my express to do app so what i'll do i'll create a new file and the name of the file will be app.js file so this file will be the entry point for my project so everything will run from here so what i'll do i'll create a new uh, express i'll first require the express module and that will be here variable express equal to require and then i'll type the name of the module so the name of the module is express so what it does whenever node.js finds the require key then it tries to search the name of the folder inside this node modules and you can see inside node modules express is present and it will try to load this module so we have successfully uh, required the express module and then what we'll do we'll create a app in instance so we'll say create express app instance so we'll say variable app equal to express now we have created a app instance for express so we'll now create a http server out, out of it so what does express provide us express provides us a listen method and through that we can use or we can create a http server so we'll say app dot listen and then we'll say the port on which we want to instantiate our http server so for currently i'll say please instantiate my express server on 5000 and then it will call a callback when the server has been successfully instantiated and it will say a message console dot log and then it will say server successfully started at port what 5000 so we have given the 5000 port so it will say that the server has been successfully started at port 5000 but there you can see that this 5000 currently is hard coded and we don't want that so what i'll do i'll create a variable that is server port and in this variable i'll say that the port will be 5000 so changing here the port will try to change the port on which our express http server will start so we'll say server port and then we'll also say here that the port has been successfully started at server port so now you can see that this port is configurable and you can change the value here and then we'll again start the node app.js this project and it will start the http server on some other port so we'll go to our terminal and inside that you can see that our app.js is present and if I'll start the server using node app.js, then it will say me that server successfully started at port 5000. So this was the code or this was the uh, things that we have learned now that we have instantiated a new node module. We have created, we have installed the express app and we have created a express HTTP server in this. So this was all about in this video. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Thank you.